Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious roast loin of pork with crispy crackling and roasted apples. So all you need for this is one pork roast, um, about 1.7 kilos or 3.75 pounds, a tablespoon of olive oil, some cooking oil, uh, cooking spray, sorry, six to eight small apples washed and dried, such as a Golden Delish or a Granny Smith. You want a slightly tart one. And then you're just going to need about two teaspoons of sea salt. So you want to preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius or about 428 Fahrenheit and I've turned off the fan force for this. We're going to be cooking it long and slow. So, Okay, so I'm fortunate in that my pork roast came all ready to pop in the oven. Uh, but if yours isn't, if you've just got the loose roast, all you need to do is take a sharp knife and you're going to score that skin about every centimeter or so. You can see there's already scores right into the skin. Then you're just going to roll it into a log shape like this and using kitchen string or string that you can use for cooking roasts like this, tie it every so often, just to keep it in that shape. So the next step is, we're going to rub the skin with about a tablespoon of your olive oil and some of that sea salt, which I've already ground. About a tablespoon to do the whole thing. Just rub that in well. And the salt as well. So that's ready to just pop it into our preheated oven. We're going to cook it at this temperature for half an hour, and then we'll come back and adjust it. Okay, it's been half an hour, so all we want to do now is reduce our temperature to 200 Celsius, or 392 Fahrenheit, and roast that for a further 30 minutes. So the next step is you're going to take your spray oil. Now, olive oil would be better. This just happens to be what I have on hand as a canola oil spray. And you're just going to lightly spray the apples. It's just easy if you put them on a plate like this and spin it around. And then we're going to season them with salt and pepper. Now we're just going to pull that pork out of the oven briefly. And be very careful because there's hot oil in the bottom of that pan. So what you're going to want to do is set these apples up here with the pork. I'll put three to a side. And we're going to pop that back in the oven for another 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so that's been another half an hour. So we're just going to go ahead and pull that out. So what we want to do now is remove this and bring it to a platter, a carving plate, um, and then we'll let it sit and rest for 10 minutes. All right, that's rested for 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the strings. Different people like to serve it different ways. You could take a knife and cut your crackling off and set that on a separate plate to serve, or you could just go ahead and slice right through where the groove marks are and leave each piece have its own crackling attached to it when you serve. That seems like the better way to me. I'm going to do that. So there you have it, roast loin of pork with crispy crackling and roasted apples. And that is definitely crispy, just the way to serve it.